What is going on, everybody? McLean Speed Show World Champion coming at you. Law, OPO7, Ace is here. Jumping into uh, pretty much uh, Ace is a lot more viable once the set drops, just because uh, with the addition of like Bond Clay, pretty much. Uh, I mean, once EB01 comes out, like uh, you can definitely run Ace if you want to, because you'll be able to get Ace a lot more consistently. And yeah, also just kind of mess around with uh i don't think this list is like a finalist or anything i feel like uh i don't know you could probably drop zoro completely and just have kid and killer and then have uh, ace and then uh if you wanted to play around ace and make ace sort of like your your pivotal card i feel like you should add zoro Juro as well just because uh there's another option to make sure you can like consistently always get ace so probably mess around with that but again just having fun with OP07 stuff. Like uh, I've not looked at like uh, any of the matchups or anything with any of the leaders because uh, here in the West it is still uh, I don't know like two three months away before we even get to the OP07 set to get the Samjin stuff. So we'll uh, get to that when we get to that. But I'm having fun right now, just messing around with uh, the stuff we know, and then obviously we once we finally get to the new set. We'll be able to fine tune everything, especially once we get to see uh, all the matchups and stuff and how things are playing out. But I don't know. Law is just a lot of fun. <laughs> I, obviously, you guys know that because uh, we've been doing, we've been grinding Law for for months now, and it's super cool that we are just getting the payoff. And I don't know. There's like so many deck varieties and stuff that uh, you're able to kind of make work, whether you play around Ace or whether you play not around Ace. And just try to go flood the board out, play around. Like, there's like a rush option now too. Zero Kid Killer, Zoro, and uh, I think there's like the the Mino Chihuahua that's rush as well. So you can even go crazy with rush. So it's super super fun. Just a lot of uh, options and stuff that we got. But uh, yeah, just messed around. I have three Ace just because I want to try to get the Ain or Bon Clay to Ace combo on turn two. So that's the reason why I've got three. Obviously you can play around the numbers. You could run four if you want. If you like again want to super commit to Ace being sort of like the uh the structure of the deck. But for the kinda of like the purposes, I just wanna try to see if we can get Ace a couple times, just see how it goes and then uh obviously in the future we can then fine tune fine tune just a whole bunch of stuff to make sure we get our setup around uh, ace and we'll go from there so yeah jump into some games and see how things go all right we got some uh, moria action you know i grab the boys off the rip there as well um unfortunately can't do too much here let's we'll see if they got if they bring in perona i'll have to trash a card so we'll have to trash Araya. and we'll go from there but i have this so i'll be able to remove something okay so they're bringing in hog back all right, that's fine. Ooh, we get the boys again. Sick. Okay, so they have another hog back in there. Ooh, I got ace. Problem is I don't have a way to like ramp up into ace here. So I, th I kind of have to make this play to remove this. Okay, so we'll do that there, and then we'll go one, two, three, bottom like that, bring in the boys. All right. Cause I, uh, we'll just play this way, keep the pressure on them. Cause I want to get down on Don, so I could potentially play Ray. So no, we'll do a block out of that. So they're going to want to drop a five cost here. Interesting. Oh, Sabo. Okay. So draw two, trash two. We'll see what they trash. All right, they trash the uh, Kuzan and Rebecca there. Um, well, I could get Kid in right now, or do I want to play, or I could play eight, if we play Patient, I could do that, or, I mean, I could drop Kid right now, and then, uh, yeah, let's just attack him five on five. I'll attack him with two fives, and we'll see what they do. Okay, I mean, oh man, now I kind of, if I drop this... I could get this down to, well, I mean, I can get rid of it next turn with the uh, ace. So we'll just do that. And we'll play around that. 
So they block that, which is fine. I'll drop a uh, drop kid. And we'll call it good. So we'll get to seven. I can drop ace. We can get this down and then see what else they they do. And kind of play around all that. I could use I can use the boys as a 2k counter here because we have Ray to bring in because I'm gonna be at seven and I won't be able to use them uh, their ability because you're gonna be at three. So we'll drop down to four and we'll get if they don't get rid of kid, then they'll put us back to five. So we'll see how this goes. So I mean, this is kind of decent. They're attacking. All right, they're bringing in Perona. Got to trash a card. Um. I guess we'll trash this, and then no blocker, use that, because uh, use ace here, minus down both of these. Okay, and they drop Borsalino at the end there. Alright. Oh, okay. Um, let's make this play then. Why not? Interesting. So now I can pop this. With, uh, with Ace here, so that's pretty swell. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so let's drop Ace. We'll go this and this. So this is at three. This is at three. We'll take that. Um, I can do... Alright, well, let me attack this five on three. And then we'll leave this on the board because uh, we don't have to worry about too much here. Then I'll go one, two, three. Scoop that out. Bring in Ray. Get our abilities. Okay, we get Kid and Killer, which is pretty solid. And so I'm attack them five on five. I'll attack them five on five, and then with Kid, I'll attack them uh, again. Because uh, we'll see what they they try to pull off here. So we get them down two. Uh, yeah. If I attack uh, with Kid, all right. Oh, well, yeah. Let's get them down to one then. Because I have Kid and Killer, and I have a 2k. Because they'll be at 9. Okay, so we get rid of, get them to sack that stuff. To drop the 8 cost Moria, all I can bring in is Rebecca, really. So we'll see what they can do. If they can't get rid of Ace, we're chilling. But if they drop uh, Moria, then Kid is probably safe. Because I could only attack for six, and I have a 2k with Sanji. And then we're going to be bringing in Kid and Killer. I'll have seven. So I'll be able to do a bunch of attacks. And then uh, bring in a Kid and Killer. For hopefully the, the finishing blow. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how things go here. Because uh, they attack... Uh, I guess they're thonking what they can do. Because they would have to bring in Rebecca... And then, uh, they got all this, so, let's see who they attack. So they're attacking six on five, no, and I'll block that. I just need to block one of them, because now they're at eight. Because if they drop, uh, the Gek Man, then they, uh, then Kid is probably safe, because they can only attack for five. Alright, never mind. They're going for a different play. They use the Ice Age on Ace. Oh yeah, so this means they can't... I think they're thinking about the... Uh, I feel like one of these cards is Moria then. So they'd have to... Oh, well, we'll see what else happens, I guess. So they're dropping Absalom. Okay. So they got rid of Ace, which is fine. And then we'll see what they do. I mean, they might attack six. Okay, cool. They're attacking here. I mean, they only have one card in hand, though. So that's good. <laughs> I mean, we'll see what the what they add to their hand, I guess. Yeah. So the 2K. All right. Can't do anything about that, unfortunately. But I have seven Don. So we know they have a 2K. So, let's just, uh, let's see, how do I want to play around this? I want to finish with two, so I have two, two, I have one, two, two. Okay, and so let's attack with a five, and let's see what they do here. Okay, so I guess I'm going to sack that. Um, well, let me just lead with this then. Okay, so that gives us one. 
And then I'll attack 7 on 5. Gets one there. And then to be safe, we'll attack again 7 on 5. And all right, we got him. So there we go. Ace coming in. Clutch there. They, uh, I don't think, expected the ace drop and to wipe a... That's why Ace is so strong, though, is if your opponent attacks with something, then that the rest of the character is just gone, and we'll be able to use our, our ability and just shambles out like whatever else they have that's active. So Ace uh, coming in, that was cool. Got to play, you know, play a little different style. Grab Ace, and then obviously we got the Kid and Killer coming in at the end there. Just doing some info reads to see what they had in their hand. I thought they had this, and that was why they were waiting so long the previous turn but I guess not but they do have the the issue Isho build in here this card is pretty strong if they get it out of the field that is because uh, if they put it down on it all the characters are minus three but they kind of need a setup for this to against us if you're able to just pace them down but also too against uh, Moria I've always attacked with your blockers <laughs> because uh, they're a removal deck and unless you can put them in a, the tough spot with having like Ace and then Sanji and Kid, if you only have like one blocker, I feel like you should attack with them because uh, uh, if you don't have another combo of like a, a five cost or higher because uh, against removal decks, I always play with the back of my head that it, something's getting removed, like cost removed and obviously they got rid of Ace, but that losing ace got meant we got to protect kid so i would have been attacking uh with kid the extra a little bit there and yeah there we go a moria dub we'll take it all righty so we got uh some boa action i can slide out i believe a okay well we have plenty so we'll do that but we have our combo i get to drop bon clay and then we get to drop ace and we get to see how this goes so they hit us there we get another bond clay sick and we get kid and killer even better all right so we will drop the bond clay get us our one bond clay is sick because we get the active down so then you get to attack for six as well right here and that puts us at five so next turn we get to drop ace and at this stage in the game i do not believe they have anything that can survive the ace minus 3k so ace is about to be mega and we, we got just the the removal boys right here. Ace, Gordon, Max, the team up. And, uh, well, depending on where they're at, I can bring in another Bon Clay. So we attack with a Bon Clay. Bon Clay will give us another one for next turn. Depending on what they drop here, so we'll see. So they're attacking six, that's fine. Okay, we get Otama. Give us some defense later on, potentially. So they have four. Well, I played them like once before, so we'll see if they have that Jinbei combo. I feel like, yeah, that's what they like have to do if they want to have a chance here. So, we'll see. Into Law. Okay, so now I have to send a card to the bottom of my deck. Um, I guess we'll send a, we'll send Max because I have one on the board. All right, well, they just leave that up there, so that's fine. So seven in hand. All right. Um. But with Bond Clay here, let me attack five on five, because now the next turn they kind of have to do some stuff here. All right. I'm gonna drop Ace, and then we just have the one. We go one, two, three. Get that out. I'll bring in uh, another Bond Clay, and we'll attack them six on five. All right, so they block out of that. Now they have to attack this Bon Clay. So Bon Clay is kind of like a pseudo blocker where your opponent like has to attack them. So you can definitely play around that because Bon Clay is like way too strong for your opponent to not attack because his uh, attacking ability is nuts. But dropping Ace is pretty decent, I think, in the blue matchups because they're crazy event cards. I th don't think, yeah, only go to uh, six cost. So we're chilling there. All right, well, there's a bunch of stuff we can do here now. So they're at three. I could bring in Kid and Killer into Asanji, potentially. So that gives me with, what, four? Leaves me a three. All right, well, we'll just tack them uh, seven on five. And then we'll see if we get them down here, because then I'll attack them seven on five again. All right, because, yeah, I don't really need uh, anyone else, I don't think. 
So attack him seven on five. Then we'll just bring in Sanji. And we got a, the, the two Ks going on. So, all right, they do that, but it doesn't super matter because they're we got them down here. We just attack him seven on five again. I think I'm gonna sneak out of Gordon. Just uh, just for fun. All right, and then we'll go one, two, three. Bring in uh, Sanji, and then I'll slide Gordon out just for uh, funsies here. So they're gonna be at nine. We'll be at six next turn, and yeah, they have nothing. Wow, they're mega bricked. Okay, I guess uh, with Boa, they got yeah a lot of events and high cost characters there. So they uh, they were toast. <laughs> they were toast. which really the next one, but yeah, super cool. Glad I get to show you guys off the rip uh, the Bond Clay into Ace, and I mean it's just such a crazy combo <laughs> it's so good because again bond clay gives you the active so you get to attack for six and then next turn you get to drop ace and depending on what's on the board potentially two things are getting deleted if your opponent has a character that they already had out to attack which will be rested is gone and then from there obviously whatever their attack they're active at that stage of the game i don't believe there's anything that will be above like a 6k from like any of the main decks you'll be playing but yeah there we go. Bond Clay to Ace. Connection there. Deleting the field. And yeah, we get a quick one. All right, we got some NL action here. See how this goes. We got uh, we got the boys. We got our Sanji. We have Shariah. So we got, the, we got plenty of blockers and stuff. All right. Um, swing, attack them five and five. We'll see what they do. And then I'll drop Shariah. So we get uh, something out. And we'll play around all that stuff, I guess. Alright. So throw down Shariah. And see what they they do. See what the strat is here. So they attack us or if they're just gonna try to like stall us out. But depending on what they do, I do have this law. Okay, so they're not doing anything. Okay. So they have eight in hand. Um, alright, well, we'll play this. We'll do that. We deleted uh, a Gadatsu there. And uh, this guy right there, so. Um, well, with that, I'll attack them 5 on 5. Because again, at this stage, we just gotta get them down kind of as quick as we can. Okay, so they take the hit there. And then I'll attack them again 6 on 5. And see what they do here. Because then I'm going to bring in the boys. And then uh, we'll kind of go from there. Because, uh... Alright, well, they get the Onami. Which, <laughs> of course they do. So, we'll bring the boys in. We got them down to one. I do have Kid and Killer. So, Kid and Killer is going to be at the 7k. So, they're only at six. We can kind of try to piece them here. And we'll go from there. And so, no... I'll use Otama here. Keep that up, and then we'll see how this goes. Obviously, I need if we get Ray. Wait, oh, okay. I was about to be like, are they seriously trashing their their life? So I'm gonna drop a. Uh, we'll drop a uh, Gordon there, and we'll just hack them for a bunch of fives right here, because I'll bring Kid and Killer in. And then uh, I can <laughs> bring in another kid and killer because I'm at five there, there as well. All right, so they block that one. We'll see what they do here. Because I could br drop kid and killer and then bring in kid and killer if I wanted to. So they block that as well. Okay, um, let's drop kid and killer. Attack them seven on five. And as long as these next two aren't anything like too crazy, so they uh, trash that. All right, we go one, two, three. Scoop that out. I'll bring in another kid and killer. Attack them again, seven on five. Is it where they're gonna be at? Oh, okay. So they do that. Um. Oh, well, let me just attack them again then. Let's try it. We get a read read off of cards here okay well we'll see how this goes then they kind of <laughs> they gotta attack something I have Sanji potentially block out 
All right, what do they have for eight? No, I'll just do this. I don't know what they they got cooking up here. So Kata Curry. All right, just give me Kin Killer back. So I have, so they're at seven. So I can attack them, could attack seven. Well here, let's just do, let's do a five and see what happens. Cause they, yeah, that forces them to have to block out. Um, so now if I do that hit, all right, let's see what happens here. Okay, so the five hits. So we'll see what they, all right, well, that's a bit annoying there, isn't it? <laughs> of course they get that. Um, well, they have no cards in hand. If I attack them there, it gets them down to zero at least. But I don't want to lose both. Um, all right, well, I guess we got to do it. Attack them five on five. Okay, and we'll call it good there. Because I can't drop kid. Just got to hope they don't get a... Uh, like ace or something all right they do not we uh, we would uh had them there because they have no blocker and then i could attack them directly so we'll we'll take the uh again nl stall tactic not uh not working when the kind of the other option just to uh, beat them down with a rush all right we got some bonnie action we'll see how this goes all right can't do anything here so Bonnie can, when we're attacking, for they can, we're one Don, rest up to one of our, your opponent's leaders or characters. So, not ideal, but I mean it is what it is. They draw the the Cavendish here. So if you have no other Cavendish on the field, get two Don. So I mean that's pretty good, pretty strong combo for them. So we'll see. We we need a, I kind of need like a, a Gordon or something. Not gonna lie to be able to kind of get things going. I think what I'm going to do, because if I drop this, I could still scoop this out and then bring in the boys to put us there. Because I only have this. Or do I want to attack and just drop Shariah? Hmm. You know what, I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling a little crazy. Let's see what happens. I'll drop uh, Shariah and then go into the boys. All right, we'll drop Shariah here, because they're gonna be at what four? I mean, I guess we we'll risk it. We'll risk the search again. Never mind. A little audible. They took the life. We know they have a Cavendish, but they're only at four, so they can't drop him yet. And yeah, I kind of want to play around that, because uh, depending on what they do, I feel like they're gonna try to leave one so they can rest Shariah. But if I had dropped Bon Clay, so all right, they're attacking five on five. We take this. Okay, ooh, I get kid. All right, well that works too. All right, we'll see how that goes. So they have four. I don't know if they have. Uh... Oh, we'll just see. We'll just see what happens here. Obviously, uh, I have Otama. So they drop the Urogi. So at the end of the turn, they get to set one is active. Ooh, okay, I get ace. Hmm. How do I do this then? Because I have five. If I drop this, I scoop this out. And we get kid set up. So they go kid. If I go kid minus three, you get one. Gives us the two there. And then I could drop ace next turn. Alright, um. I guess let's do. Let's just lead with this. Let's see what they do here. All right, so they uh, they rest Shariah, which is fine. It's like expected. That's why I just attack with the five. All right, and we get them to do that. So now I'll drop kid, and then we'll go one, two, three. Get rid of that. I'll bring in the boys. We get the one back. All right. So now I'm at five. Next turn I can drop Ace. So we can see how this goes. Drop Ace, delete two of their things, and bring in like a Bon Clay or something. But I'll probably, probably just lead off attack with Kid, because they'll probably arrest Kid. Let's see what they do with Shariah here, though. Because I could potentially block it. Because I do have Otama. And I do have a Bon Clay. So they're at, we know they have that Cavendish. That was five costs. That would only leave them with one. So they are dropping this. Okay, I have to get two back. 
All right. Well, if they only attack this for five, or even if they attack six, I can block with the block here. Because again, we're playing ace next turn, so I get to delete both, like, uh, minus both of these down. And so we'll see what they do. If they have three, it would be a risky play. I kind of want to. They put all three on and tag eight on four. I feel like I kind of have to. Hmm. I don't know, because they're going to rest one of these two. No, I guess if they do that, then the uh, attack and four will just take the L. I don't think we can do too many resource stuff here. But that's what they're thonking about it. All right. So, yeah, this is the logical play, because this gives them one back. So, we'll just do that. I don't want to uh, delete all of our resources there. So, that gives me seven. All right, um, because they have the one back. Let's uh, just lead off six and five then. Attack there. And then I'll drop ace. We'll minus both of these down. And yeah, we'll kind of play around that, I guess. So they take the hit on that. Okay, so I can then deploy ace, go bang, bang onto both of those. I'll go one, two, three, because this is at five. I feel like this is a. Uh, on play when attacking. If you have no other Cavendish, okay. Well, we gotta get rid of this then. Bring in uh, Bond Clay. It gives me two right there. And now we'll attack them seven on five. Let's see what they do here. And yeah, I mean it's super strong though. Then we get to rest a leader or character is uh, kind of nuts. All right. Because that means they can rest ace. <laughs> like, they can rest any leader or character. It's such a strong leader ability. Like, uh, really, really good. But I have the 2K, and we have a 1. So they're at 8. We'll see how this goes. I assume they're green. If we have to deal with, like, uh, I don't know if we have Supernova. So I feel like they probably have, like, 8-cost kid and stuff, yeah? Because uh, it is all Supernovas. So, we'll see. They can drop an 8 cost, and then this guy gives them one back, which is, uh, you know, not ideal. But, I mean, if they only attack... If they only attack, uh, 5, because I don't know what 8 cost they may have. If they only attack 5, then I'll block with Bon Clay. And then, or if they only attack 6 on Kid, we'll block with Bon Clay. Kind of want to save Otama, just to kind of make sure we can get rid of this guy, no matter what they drop. Because the problem with these pesky green decks is they're able to just hoard so many cards in hand. So they yeah, just kind of, with all their little abilities, and they're able to just jack up the cards. So, 5 on 5, no. Alright, we'll block that one. So, what do they have for 8? I'm... F like, I don't know what else to expect in here. For, uh the green because only one I know eight cost kid but that's a uh, eight so I feel like they wouldn't drop that I don't know what else uh I haven't looked at all again at any of like the oh, seven stuff so they're attacking five on five there um well let's just block that then they're dropping something silly Bonnie okay and then, what's this guy? Your turn. If character is rested from your own effects, draw one card and trash one. Okay. Ooh. How do I want to do this then? Scoop this out. Bring out Ain. Because, uh... What do I want to scoop this? They have the one, so I have to attack with Ace first. Hmm. How do I want to go about this? Because I could They're going to rest Bon Clay. So if I attack this seven on five, I think I gotta get rid of like everything on the field here for us to have a chance. So let's attack this seven on five. They use their ability to rest Bon Clay, I assume. And then I'll use Max on Bonnie here to get rid of that. Oh, okay. Never mind. I wasn't expecting 
then we'll leave on clay. So wait, I'm going to then put, no, I'll just put one on. Well, I could put three on Bon Clay, attack them nine on five to make them sack this. So do that. So nine on five. And then I'll do one. So we scoop this out and then I'll attack them nine on five again. One, two, three, four. All right. We'll do another nine on five. Put them in a precarious position here. So they sack that, and now I can slide out Max here onto Bonnie, and then we'll go one, two, three, get rid of that, bring in Ain. Oh, yeah, I forgot we went one for kid there. All right. So they're going to be at 10, but luckily, yeah, we have all this on the field. So we're playing around that. They kind of have to attack, attack Bon Clay. And so I assume that's what they're going to do. And then they have 10. So attacking Bon Clay. Can't do anything about that. And we'll go from there, I guess. They have Doflamingo. <laughs> I mean, they could. Oh, yeah, never mind. They're dropping a cost kid into Rosinante. All right. Ooh. Okay. Well, I get a kid here. If I want to, I could just drop this. Minus a three, and then we'll just tee off on uh, on kid, I guess. Or do I want to just do? Because if I just minus three, because I could keep this for. I don't know if they're gonna have a bunch of these. Is the the issue? Because if I drop a, uh, I could drop Ain for four, then minus the three down, get rid of this. That leaves me there. Then I can attack this for ten. I put three on and then attack it for another there. Because they're going to use their leader ability to rest something. If I drop a. Yeah, I think that's the, the best play. So we'll do that. I'll go one, two, three. We'll get rid of that. I won't bring anything so I can do this. Um, Or do I just go for it? I attack. A... That's where. If I attack 10, 12. I think I block out of that and just go for for the setup there. So 12 on 8. Make them have to delete a bunch of cards here, potentially. Because we're going to have full Don again next turn. So I can kind of play around that. Just got to hope they don't have... Uh, if they can't block out of this, then we might get them right here. Okay. Well, we had to get rid of that regardless there. So, but going to keep these cards active. And we're going to be at full Don next turn. So we'll see what uh, what kind of happens there. Just depends if they have another one of these. <laughs> That's where it's going to be annoying. But if I can draw into uh, like a Gordon or a Max or something like that, then make things a little bit easier. All right. Well, Basil's a bit annoying. So because this card is very good. Because <laughs> it's straight up removed from play. Your you may rest one of your opponent's characters. So. Can't do anything about that because it's a uh, only have this in hand. So we'll see what they do. Is they attack this? I mean, if they do attack the seven on six, I can't do anything about that either. All right, we just need give me a Gordon. If I get a pretty much if I get a Gordon or a Max, I think we'll also take the game. So yeah, I can't do anything about that unfortunately. But all right, I get the Saji blocker. Okay, well, we may bring that in later on here. So, I just need to wear them out of cards in hand, though. So, we'll do a, an 8. I think we'll just do a bunch of 8s, I guess. So, they rest that. But, if I can just get them down, again, cards in hand. Be okay. Alright, so, they block that. That's fine. I'll attack him again, 8 on 8. And then, I'll just kind of go from there. Then I'll attack him 9 on 8. But, uh, if we can, again, limit everything they have in hand, we have a chance. Okay, interesting. They do that. Um, 
attack 9 on 8. Let's see what, uh, okay, so get rid of that. And so we'll go 1, 2, 3. I'll bring in Sanji. All right, we're just kind of battling hard of the cards now. <laughs> if they get another, if they have another kid, that's going to be annoying. But I do have Sanji. So they have 10. Um, I'll just block that with, uh, with Sanji. And then maybe we'll bait them into attacking here. As I'm going to be back at 9 Don again. Sanji will be sort of the key. I'll probably attack 10. Get them to try to sack this. And then uh, the rest, whatever, we pop it. Okay, we still, we're still looking okay because we still have 3 life. And we still got kind of board control, even if they have another kid. So, playing around that. But even if they get kid again, we're just also waiting on like a Gordon or Max, pretty much to cement the game for us. And so, all right, oh, they're attacking with Basil. Okay. Oh, okay, they're dropping Doflamingo. I mean, all right. I mean, not ideal, but uh, I still get to attack with something, so I'm just gonna attack this then with the. Uh, a bunch. Ooh, I get the boys, which I don't really need. So I'll bring in Kid for five. Well, I could bring in Kid for five. Gives me nine to attack. Alright, oh, well, let's just attack uh, this nine on seven. Is a. Uh, or we delete uh, everything from their hand here. Oh yeah, I forgot Kid gives us one, so I could have attacked for, for more there. But, yeah, we'll see how this goes, I guess. So I'll just bring in both of these. Okay, so they have nothing in hand then. Dang, well that worked out perfectly for them. Yeah, I messed that up. Alright, well I'll deploy this then. We'll go one, two, three. And then I'll just bring this in. Alright. So, I mean, they could clear all three of these, I guess. But I just need the two to attack here. And, yeah, we're just kind of going off that. But they also have the, I mean, the blocker. I have two active. Hody Jones. Okay. Well, that's not ideal. That's not ideal at all. <laughs> okay, well, they got the heart of the cards Hody Jones on us. That's annoying. Yeah, there's nothing I can do on that. Man, I didn't know Hody Jones was going to be in here. Wow, that's so uh, crazy. So, they uh, they harder the cards to Hody Jones. <laughs> that's annoying. <laughs> but that's how it goes sometimes. Yeah, nothing nothing to do with the uh, with that. Larry, that's all they could have gotten to save them there. That's crazy. Just like straight up. They uh, <laughs> the harder the cards on their side. And so we, we had them lined up, but yeah, that is a pretty annoying deck to play against. I'm not going to lie. That leader ability is, is crazy strong, <laughs> especially like we're okay because we get to put out two characters a turn, but them being able to, again, they get to rest any of your, any opponent's leaders or characters. It doesn't matter what the cost is. So that is very, very strong. Alrighty. So we got uh, some law v law action here. All right. Well. We lost the uh, the little dice roll, coin toss, whatever, so fortunately he's going to lock us into doing uh, the old AK, but we'll see. We have removal, so we get rid of something here. So they drop Bond Clay. All right, they're attacking there, and then I assume they're, oh, oh, dang it, they're going to, they got, they got Ace. No, <laughs> they're doing our strat. <laughs> But Bon Clay being one, we don't have to worry about that. So, uh. Because they're only going to be able to get rid of one. So I could drop Ain. Scoop that. That gives me one. So I'll attack them six on five. They're doing, uh, they're doing our strat against us here. They sack the Sanji. Okay, interesting. So we'll drop this. We'll go one, two, three. Get rid of that. Bring in the boys there. All right. Luckily, I have this and Max to get rid of Ace here. So. We're okay. 
so we're able to play around that. I, like, there's no other reason for them to only drop one if they're not dropping Ace here. <laughs> so, we'll see uh, how that goes. But we do have Saji we can bring in as well. Oh, okay, never mind. They're bringing, dropping another Bond Clay. Okay. Into the law. Alright, that's... I, do, if they don't have Ace in their hand, that's crazy. So... I may just block out with one of these then. Because I'll save both. I can scoop out Bon Clay. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay, we get Ace. Oh. Well, now I can drop Ace on my own and scoop out a... Uh... Well, the problem is Bon Clay, though. Bon Clay is an issue here. Because I don't want Bon Clay becoming 7K. Um, so what do I want to do? I could just scoop one Bon Clay... Because I have Bond Clay. Then we can bring in... Hmm. Or do I want to drop Ace? No, I'll save Ace for next turn. So I'll go down three. Bring in Ain again. So it leaves me with four. Okay. Um. So I don't need to sack any of this. So let's do... Six on five. I would get him down to one here. We could potentially uh, yeah, pop off with a bunch of stuff. So drop the one there. So if I drop Bond Clay, that gives me one to gives us the three. Um <laughs> I should have not did that. I don't think. Alright, well we'll drop the uh, we'll do this on them there. I'll drop Bond Clay to give us the one. We'll go one, two, three. Get rid of a Bond Clay. If I bring in Ain, I have. We have plenty of 2K counter here, I think. Like a counter, counter out of stuff. If I drop Kid and Killer, tack them down to one, force them into. to that, potentially. Mm. Yeah, I'll just do that. And then we'll attack him 8 on 5. Okay. So playing around that, we got him down to 1. Have a bunch of uh, cards in hand here. Just got to play some defense. And we'll see what happens. I definitely misplayed that though. I should have only attacked 5. Because then I would have been... If I would have dropped Bon Clay. I keep forgetting about the active. I could have then dropped uh, straight up more bodies. So I might have thrown that. It was a misplay out of me. Should not have, uh, yeah, with us being at seven, I should have just dropped Bon Clay. That would have given me another four. And then I could have dropped uh, this other Ain to get us up and then bring in. Then we would have, I would have probably won no matter what if I wouldn't have misplayed there. So, okay, they're dropping Ace. All right, well, we were expecting Ace to uh, earlier in the game. But not too much I can do. Oh, two on two? No. Oh, we'll just do that then. <laughs> There's a five on two? Okay, well, I can't do anything about that. But with them goofing that up, I now can keep Ain up, I believe. So they attack. Uh, I'm gonna use 2K and something. Alright, um. We'll do two. Oh man, I miss. Oh never. Oh man. Wait, why is it? Okay, well, I messed that up. I didn't mean to click that. But yeah, yeah it was at two. So yeah, I can't do. I just can't do math. That was dumb of me. Whoops. <laughs> this is a game of thrills. That was uh, not ideal there. So I bring it out the blocker law. All right, so I have seven. Um, I have two life, so I could drop ace of my own. We I mean, minus this down and minus this down, or minus this and minus this. So I can still do that, I guess. So I guess I'll drop ace, we'll do that, and then that. Um, <laughs> the problem is because of my goof, I don't really have uh, so we go one, two, three, get rid of that. We'll bring in 
where are they at? They're at five. I'm at four. So I can't bring in Sanji here, which is a bit of an issue. If I bring in this, it doesn't super matter because I want to attack. I need to attack Bon Clay anyways. So we'll bring in Ain, and then I'll attack uh, Bon Clay five on one. And so we'll do that. Problem here is I don't know if I can. I need it. Oh no! I've got to be able to block out of a, one attack here. Doesn't matter from anything, but if they have Rush, if they have Candy Killer, we lost. The problem is I threw. I threw this game. This dumb play out of me. Because we would have won, <laughs> I think, no matter what. Because they would have either been just only have Ace on the board or we have him down here. But if they have Candy Killer, they will get us here. If they don't, then we have a chance. But the problem is they're at 7, so there's so many options they can do that we... Uh, can't really survive unless we get some 2Ks here. Like if we got the boys, Otama, or some more Sanjis like in here, we may have a chance. But this is pretty much the game. They kind of have to go for it. Unless they can remove both of the, Well, they can't remove both. They'd only be able to remove one. And with them there, I'm going to be at 7 down as well. So we'll go from there. They're attacking me 7 on 5. Um... If I take this, because I know I can block. All right, we'll do that. Okay, I get King Killer. Um, leaves a one. It just kind of depends on what they do here. Because if they, well, if they have King Killer of their own, then it, none of this matters. Dang, my misplay really uh really costing me here, because this guy shouldn't be here. <laughs> okay, they drop Kid. We're actually totally fine with that. That's actually... Okay, we're good. We're good. Everything is perfect. Because they attack... I can block this no matter what. Okay. Big chillin. So they can't do... Uh... Unless, I guess unless I bring in King Killer here. Okay, they bring in Law. Alright. So never mind. We're still okay. They only have three cards in hand. They have one here. I allow them... If they will attack with Ace, that's fine. And then because I can block this... So, all right, the game is next turn. So, no, we gotta block that. And then they're attacking seven on five. All right, oh, I get Zoro as well. All righty, how do we wanna go about this then? Um, We gotta deploy, deploy Max onto this. If I drop Zoro, Get rid of that, we'll bring in Kid and Killer. So I'll drop Zoro here. We're gonna go one, two, three, scoop that out, and then also bring in Kid and Killer. So they just have the one. All right, I'll attack seven here. And then they kinda put them in a bind here for attacks. So we'll see what happens. Cause then, uh, so I take this one, I'll attack seven again, and then we'll try to wear them out with cards in hand. But they may have counter because they didn't have any. We know they don't have like Gordon or Max, so we'll see. Let's see what happens. But we kind of got to go for it all right here. All right. Well, they take the hit there. Okay, well, now I'm just going to attack them down then. 5-on-5. Five five. They take that. Alright. Attack them again. 5-on-5. Five five. Alright. I'll attack them. 7-on-5. And we'll see what happens. Um... Okay, well they block that. And then we gotta go for the yeah, the eight on five there. They only had the boys there, so worked out for us sequentially. I guess I probably could have should have attacked for a, a six. Just to make sure. Because I I mean I know this deck, but yeah. Uh that was way closer than it should have been. But a little ace v ace action. Again, misplay out of me being silly. I uh, on that seven, I should have dropped uh, Bon Clay to get us to the 
the extra one because then I could have dropped another character and then we wouldn't it wouldn't have been close <laughs> if I wouldn't have messed up because uh, with with that there we would have been pretty good but obviously we get the draw the Zoro there that helps a lot too and yeah we'll take the the mirror win even with me playing not ideal all right we got the uh some Nami action here let me deploy uh Max <laughs> we're gonna be using Max to attack I'm gonna launch two attacks on him this turn so I'll attack five and five and then uh, I'll use Max to uh, I'll attack five and five with Max because uh, I'm trying to play up to Ace here and then also be able to then use Law to potentially delete some delete some stuff um hmm or do I want to drop Zoro nah we'll just do this and then attack him again five and five Alright, that's fine. Again, we we gotta try to get the cards down in hand. So they're attacking there. It's okay, because I have Gordon. So it doesn't super matter. Um, what do I want to do here then? They only have five. I can drop Kid. If I drop Kid, bring in Ain. So go down three, get one. Get one back, and then Ain gives me one, puts me at four. So then I can't drop Ace yet. But I'm gonna get some hitters out, I guess. One, two, three. Bring in Ain there, and then you know, let's attack him here. But yeah, we gotta get some stuff on the board here so we can start swinging at these guys. So what is this one? Plus four thousand, then return all in characters to owner's hand. Okay. All right, we just gotta start popping off here with the uh, some attacks. So I'm gonna be able to do. Well, they're only at five, so we can play around that. Okay, they drop a. Uh, all right, I mean that's fine. <laughs> it's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. Okay, so we got uh, this. Pretty much just gonna do the same thing then. All right, well, let me attack uh, five and five. So love, love beam, which is fine. We'll drop uh, this again. We got one, two, three. Get that out. We'll bring in Zoro this time. Attack him again, five and five. Get them to do that, and then we will attack them. Seven on five. Let them take a life. See what they got. All right. Okay. And yeah, now we'll be at six next turn. Um, I don't know what they they got planned here. I'll just do that, and then that. These one seven. To drop the the Kaya. All right two uh, all-stars down and then yeah next turn well, I can scoop this back to the bottom of their deck and get one back at the end so we'll just kind of go from there okay so I get the boys as well so that's decent let's attack uh, a wave of sevens now because again all of their cards from what I know is like t goes kind of like, like a twos and four so they do this all right, and sack that. That's fine. Attack him for seven on six now. So they're boosted by one this turn. It's a little bit annoying, but what can you do, you know? Okay. If they bounce the, the Kaya back. All right, a little annoying there. That is, but attack him again six on six. Okay, so they take the life there, and then I'll go one, two, three, uh, bring in the boys, do that. That gives me two. I put two on here, and then I'm gonna attack them eight on six. All right, so I'll get them down to two life. They still got 27 cards. They have eight, so depending on what they play, we may be able to hit them with the law, which would be potentially big if they only drop one. And then uh, I'm gonna be at eight, so I don't really need ace unless I drop a. Uh, I don't know. Pretty much with a tee off on them for some big hits. Probably do like a nine, and then go from there. But we'll see what they do. Because I'm in a sort of a tricky spot because uh, with ace and Gordon, don't really have. Uh, the counter because I want to keep this to delete two cards from their hand 
But I guess they're thonking. What do they want to do here? Alright, so they're putting two on. They're attacking seven on five. Alright, can't do anything about that. And then, let's see what they drop. Okay. Well, that's a bit annoying. But, it is what it is, I guess. So I kind of want to, where am I going to be at? I'm going to be at eight. Okay. Well, they still have 25 cards in hand. Okay, I get another ace, which I don't need. They drop the Saji's peel off there. So I could do, if I drop that for four, that leaves me with four. Well, the problem is, uh, actually, no, let's just do this. I'll drop the kid. We'll go one, two, three, scoop that, do this. Let me hit this, use the card action, return one, get rid of two of their cards. Leaves me with four. And then we'll do a a five and then two sevens. Or I could do a five, five, and nine. That could uh, work too. Let's do that. Get them down to one, because they still have like uh, <laughs> half their cards in the deck, so. We'll try that. Because yeah, they have stuff like this to go for the nine, which I want to avoid. So now I can attack them nine and five. And so they got to do that and they have to sack something else, which they couldn't do. So that's kind of big. The Logue Town, what is this? You may place this card in one card from your hand to bottom of your deck, draw two cards. So I'm assuming they're doing that since they didn't have, uh, so they don't have any counter characters in hand. Yeah, so there's that and that. Into Marguerite and Marguerite. Okay. Well, I mean, that's fine. Um, well, I'll just drop a. Where am I at? Seven. They're at ten. Oh, well, yeah, let's just drop that then. I'll go one, two, three. Scoop one of them out. We have Kid and Killer, so I'll bring in Kid and Killer over <laughs> Zoro, I guess. So this is now at seven. So let me lead seven on five, try to draw this out. See what they do. Okay, that's fine. Five on five. So they still have 19 cards, they only have three in hand, so we're kind of chilling. And then I know uh, they don't have any characters, so I'll probably just do. If I save three, okay, so they do that, which is fine. All right, well, let me put one here. Attack them seven on five. They're down to two cards in hand, so <laughs> they're, they're definitely uh, they're definitely hurting. <laughs> we'll see what uh we can do. And so they. Most of their cards, again, you want to attack odd numbers the best you can because I feel like they have a lot of stuff that puts them at, like, the, gets them to 7 and 9. So if you're able to do that and make them discard, like, again, two cards in hand, like two cards from their hand and keep their hand low, then you're going to super limit their options and stuff, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, well, I'll attack a 6 and 5. And they still have this. So they sack that there. All right, and then we'll attack them for the, the 7 on 5. And, okay, they live for one more turn. Can they get rid of uh, all these cards? They're, they're at 16. They have four in hand. We'll see. They drop another uh, Marguerite. They get the, the Logue Town. All right. They're going for it. And they they don't get any counter. They'll bail them out. So they, uh, they took off after that. I mean, yeah, they're put them down to two here. They literally only would have been able to block uh, two things there. And yeah, they still have a decent amount of cards in their deck. So yeah, it's pretty much, uh, again, it gets not me multiple ways to play. Attack them for, again, you're going to have just a couple characters on, like three, attack them for sevens and nines consistently, or if you are able to go, I mean, Kid and Killer makes it a lot easier with them just, once you get, again, being at seven. But again, try to attack them for uh, seven and nine, just because, uh, again, they're based on their cards. You could just need to be able to expect uh, uh, most of them. Again, their one cost will give them like two thousand, and then their the two cost stuff can give them four thousand. So if you're able to attack them like seven and nine consistently, again, we just want to try to get rid of uh, 
as many cards in their hand as possible. So if you can get them like low in cards in hand, then it'll super limit their options of one, being able to block you from just attacking your life, and two, them being able to just do their, their crazy little combos and stuff. But yeah, there is a uh, run in with Ace. Obviously, in this matchup, you don't need them because they don't really have anything uh, they're going to drop. So. But, I mean, if you have the ability to and you want to, you could drop Ace just because he's going to be a permanent 7k attacker. But, uh, yeah, there is the the Ace variant. So, yeah, thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.